Hello and welcome to What Are You Saying? Hashtag Weeks, where we talk about topics in the news as it affects us all. I am Usayua Miss Sally. And today, we're looking bright and colorful very, for a Monday. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I think I planned Uti. I said Uti will wear some kind of colors, you know. So let me, let me just match her energy. How are you, Uti? <laughs> I'm consistent with the bringing the brightness and the colors. So yeah. Yay, yay me. <laughs> um, but I'm good. I'm good. Um, typical Monday. Lots of work to do. Time yeah. flies by on a Monday. So Absolutely. I love Mondays for that. Absolutely. Um, but it's been a good day. Yeah, it's been a very good day. I've had a long day, but I, it's still long because I have like two more meetings oh, wow. with some clients after the show. But hey, we move. Now we look for work. Yeah, so <laughs> we have to do the work. <laughs> All right, so today in partnership with Enough is Enough, as always, as our Mondays are, we will be bringing to you, because um, as you know, Enough is Enough has partnered with us every single Monday to um, educate, you know, you out there. We're also learning, you know, educate ourselves on our expectations, the roles of citizens, in, um, especially when it pertains to governance and educate ourselves on how governance should run and today we'll be looking at the arms of government right and the arms of government we have um there are three government um arms of government in nigeria and they play different roles so the legislature the executive and the judiciary so in case you didn't know that now you know um the legislature as the national at the national level the legislature is called the national assembly it comprises of the Senate and the House of Representati um, Representatives, headed by the Senate President and the Speaker, respectively. Also, some of the roles of the legislature, the legislature is primarily concerned with passing the National Annual Budget, also called appropriation, making laws to promote peace, order, and good governance, representing their constituencies, ensuring that executive arm of government delivers on projects and infrastructure, um, consenting to high level uh, appointments, e.g. ministers, ambassadors, the central bank, bank um, governor, ETC. Only the Senate does that. Now, so the executive, as you all know, we have a new president. The head of the national executive of the federal government is the president and as of today, Aso Rock or Aso Villa is where he's supposed to be residing, and his name is Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Um, also, some of the roles of the executive are they're responsible for implementing laws, controlling the arms, um, the, rather the armed forces, and declaring war or state of emergencies, leading the national government and supplementing state government, performing ceremonial duties and representing um, the nation appointing important leaders in government such as ministers um ambassadors and judges oh. that's the role of or some of the roles of the executive mm -hmm. all right so uti over to you yeah so um for me i'm taking the judiciary so the head of the judiciary is the chief justice of nigeria that's the cjn and some of the expected roles of the judiciary are to interpret laws made by the legislature um, serving as a caretaker of the Constitution, safeguarding the rights and liberties of citizens, delivering judgments and settling disputes. So those are some of the roles of the judiciary. And as always, we come to the part of being an active citizen. So we say despite having specific roles, each arm of government is accountable to the other and to the people. So the active citizen must call to order whenever they fail must call them to order whenever they fail to act responsibly so we understand what our role is and of course um in knowing your elected officials it is important for citizens to know them um, and their corresponding responsibilities as we've just read them out um for us there we have um, the governors the senators the house of rep the state house of assembly members local government chairman and councillors of course all of this information is available Absolutely. on the office of the citizen um chatbot which is your new assistant on civic engagement so mm -hmm. to chat with the bot um it's so easy just go on whatsapp and send a hello to 01700 that's hello via whatsapp to 01 Seven zero zero six three eight one, 
and you can start to learn more about these different arms of governments and your elected officials. And a better way to actually engage. Yes, because absolutely. again, some people actually have this information, but they don't know how to engage them. Mm. So it's very important. Yeah. All right, so today we want to discuss the, um, the state of the nation, as um, of course, in line with our theme for our Mondays that has to do with nation building, governance, leadership, you know, mm -hmm. and politics, right? And today we're having um, a, a special guest to discuss the state of the nation. And here's what we found as today's quote. If a country is to be corrupt, shun free, and become a nation of beautiful minds, I strongly feel there are three key societal members who can make a difference. They are the father, the mother, and the teacher. This is Abdul Kalam. Now, Nigeria recently transitioned from uh, Muhammad Buhari's presidency to the presidency of Bola Ahmed Tinubu, a change which came with the removal of fuel subsidy, amongst other policy reforms, and has set off the nation and its citizen on what can be considered an emo uh, rather an economic roller coaster. Very, very emotional. Now, today, Pastor Itua Igodalo is here to discuss the topic nation building and the state of the nation. But first, let's run off on a break. When we come back from that break, we want to breeze through what we found in the news. Now you're still watching ways. Nikola Tesla Day is celebrated every year on July 10 to honor the life and achievement of Nikola Tesla, the Serbian American inventor, ve um, electrician, engineer, mechanical engineer, and futurist, who is the best or inventor rather, right? Who is the best? Who is best known for his contribution to design of the modern um, alternating current electrical supply system? That's the AC. You know, those people that say, ah, when you say you go meet electrical people for car. I want to add that today is actually my sister's birthday. Oh, happy yes, birthday. Yes, Oh, yeah. July 10th is also your birthday. So, what do you know about AC? <laughs> <laughs> I know about DC. I don't know about AC. <laughs> you know, when you said AC for a second, I was like, air conditioning. Air conditioning, oh, yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. You know, it's only when your car has to have, when you start having all those problems, you don't begin to hear some kind of funny technologies. You, <laughs> but, you know, you remember, you sort of try to remember these things from, from physics, but I'm not going to go into that. My today. darling sister, <laughs> you that studied physics. I cannot proudly say. <laughs> There are some things I'm not shifted yeah. from the brain. I mean, but hey, um, it's a good day to remember legacy. great people. Mm. Yes, absolutely. Good legacy. All right, so quickly, Uti, what did you find for us in the news? Um, oh, oh, my story is just more of a, I don't know if I'll call it a public service announcement because I ran into it and I also didn't know. Um, my headline says, FG reopens Echo Bridge after 15 months of closure. Of course, 15 months ago, there was a fire outbreak um, around the Akwangwa section of Echo Bridge, uh, which essentially was due to the... Um, illegal trading under the bridge, the market there where the fire sort of started from. Um, and that led to a portion of the bridge being shut down and uh, the work that has been ongoing. So the bridge was opened on Saturday by the um, governor, uh, Governor Babajide Somolu, uh, and the federal controller of works engineer, Olukorede Kisha, who were there um, on Saturday to open the bridge. So I thought I'd just mention it. If you're anybody, if you if you live in Lagos and you're like me, I've I've avoided the area because I just didn't want to go through all the rerouting and and all of that. So I'm great that the bridge is open. It will cut down journey times. Absolutely. Going that and way. just to also do a quick follow up on taxes, right? Traders, mechanics pay 167 billion naira. Um, they decry multiple taxation. Remember we talked about taxes, mm -hmm. you know, last week. So it was important for me to take the story. So. Um, it says that um, Nigerians engage in wholesale and retail trade and repair of motor vehicles and motorcycles paid a total of 167.45 billion naira between the first quarter of 2022 and the um, Q1 of um, 2023. Mm -hmm. Now, according to the findings, this was um, by the Punch newspaper. Um, it says this company income tax, right? Um, according to the Federal Inland Revenue Service, is a 30% tax imposed on um, the profit of companies and VAT is a 7.5% consumption tax paid when goods are purchased and the services rendered are borne 
by the final consumer. So people are crying that some of these tax, um, ta um, taxes that are being levied on oh. um, people, they are multiple. And this is what I was saying when, I, when they talked about, you know, you coming back to say, okay, well, proof of, uh, what's it called? Um, ownership okay. for, for the for the vehicle, mm -hmm. right? That you have to pay an annual renewal fee. I already own the car. Why are you mm -hmm. coming? Are you asking me to come back to tell you that I still mm -hmm. own the car mm -hmm. and pay a thousand naira? It might seem like it's small, but now check on companies that maybe ride hailing services are is mm -hmm. their business. I mean, I was already telling um, my producers that we need to we need to um, reach out to companies like Shuttlers, all those people that do mm -hmm. the ride hailing services, that do the big buses, that have like fleet mm -hmm. of buses. Now, mm -hmm. how would that impact? you know their bottom line as a business when you're already paying all these other taxes why do we have mm. why do we have to have you know why can't we clean up our tax system it's just really something that you well, know that worries so, me yeah i guess uh, not to not to belabor the conversation uh, we have a lot of gaps in the system we have a lot of issues around the numbers of taxes that are collected and sometimes i feel that these taxes are collected in that manner to sort of work around an inefficient system or an ineffective system um but, I mean, when you talk about this 1,000 naira car registration, I think that we also have a problem. A lot of the problems that we have around um, not being able to properly manage our roads and bad behavior on roads is also because you don't know where cars are. So if you commit, a fa if you commit a, 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 an infraction on the road today, um, typically you get away with it. No. Apart no, hang on. You get away with it. I know in Lagos today now, Lagos State has devised... Yes, they've deployed cameras. Right now. No, they haven't. So even when they've deployed the cameras, you don't actually get the notification of the fines until you want to renew your vehicle paper. No. Then they tell... Yeah. On, that's when... It didn't happen like that, too. My, mm -hmm. my sister-in-law, mm -hmm. um, they actually sent the bill to because her. Because they knew where she was. Right? <laughs> so a lot of people today, you don't register cars at your location. So when you do KYC, when you open an account today, there's an address verification. So the bank knows where you live. Today, we can't do the same with your car because we don't know where you are. So that process for me is that if they know where your car is, it's actually... Well, if paying a 1,000 naira does not see guarantee that they will still know where I live. Well, so, so from what I understand... We have a problem. It's not 1,000 naira. No, but from what I understand... Clean up no, our, I understand. In terms of... Our that KYC cost, problem that we that have. It's now basically almost like having a cab for the cars, right? So we can check and say this is the cost of us being able to verify that your car is at your address. And it's not just that you've used a phantom address or your family house or whatever it is that it is. So that if there's an infraction on the car... I can find your car, and I can find your car, I can tow your car. We already do that with our annual registration, but let's not... The annual that that's what the point. The annual registration is not validated. <sighs> but anyway... You, you know that if you want to do anything, for instance, all these estated um, um, places, mm -hmm. they, they need to tie your location on yeah. that annual registration to where you say you want to probably yeah, get... That's for the few people that live in a state. Okay. On that note, let's take a break. Let's bring our guests. Uti, I'm not about to argue with you. Today. No, I'm not even going to argue, <laughs> like I said. This we'll be right back. <laughs>